I know it's late. It's uh, currently right now. It's 11.34 at night. Um, and I wanted to talk to you guys about um, why we didn't have a live stream today. It's pretty obvious. It was warm. It was very warm. Um, it was like 33 degrees Celsius. It was really not a nice day. It's cool now. It's like 20, play 24. So right now it's pretty civil. Temperature's outside. Tomorrow's expected a high. It's going to be a high of 36 degrees Celsius. Maybe even 37. Uh, it is, I forgot to get the date. Oh, it's, it's the 18th of July. Okay. Now, in two days, Monday, um, the Senate is going to be convening again, and Mitch McConnell says that he's going to be unveiling his proposed uh, stimulus plan. For this is going to actually be the sixth one. Um, the Democrats, Nancy Pelosi said she's willing to work with. Mr. McConnell, um, with some reason um, to get not only money for the to keep the unemployment boost going, but also to get the um, keep the stimulus check idea going. Yeah, Democrats have been wanting, especially several senators, Markey, uh, Her oh, um, yeah, Kamala Harris and uh, a few others would like to see a monthly reoccurring benefit. Common sense would say is, why don't we do that? Make it monthly. But maybe we might have to reduce the unemployment to compensate, which would make some sense. Okay. Um... So yeah, there is that. Is there what is it going to be a monthly reoccurring? If so, how much? And is there income limits um, or any other means testing that's going to be needed beforehand? I, I don't know. Um, I really can't say. All I can tell you is right now my hair is going in. Yay! Okay, and that's another thing we can talk about. We've got things to talk about that have nothing to do with the stimulus. Only thing is, some of this stuff has to do with the stimulus because it's going to benefit from the stimulus money. Um, but let's talk about some potential good news. On Friday, the latest unemployment, I think my investigators went downstairs, um, shows that the coronavirus take was 70 3,000 versus 77,000 on Thursday new cases. So the number did drop a little bit. Okay. Not a lot, but it did drop a little bit. Okay. However, um, given the situation in the messes and all the challenges, that there is concerns as you can rightfully guess, many teaching associations, many teachers' unions are saying they do not want public schools to reopen right now because there's concern about student and faculty safety because of the coronavirus. So, yeah, you got that. You know, nobody wants to get this thing. Nobody does. Okay. Donald Trump has said that he is totally against mask mandates because he believes that individuals should have the right to make their own decisions. The uh, state of Connecticut is one of them trying to push mask mandates. A lot of Democrats are um, saying, we know what's good for you. Mm, yeah, right. I'll believe it when I see it. Well, right now, i got to go take my socks down off the line. So why don't I take the socks down from the line at the same time we talk about this so I can actually get my household laundry done at the same time so I don't have to worry about missing out. Um, so let me take care of my socks. This won't take long anyway. Um, it's easy to mount the line for three days. So try. i got to speak to seven minutes. Um... So, the mask 
mandates. I don't know if they're going to really help anybody. But you know, when a government um, person says, we're doing this for your own good, that's total bullshit. No, you're doing it for your own good, not mine. If you were asking me for my own good, it would be very different. Um, so the whole idea of a mask update is just mandate makes no sense at all. It just doesn't. Okay? All right, so now I got the socks down. I got to sort them. I could do that in a little bit. Well, actually, I can do it right now. Since I have my socks here. So, I'm trying to do a little housework at the same time. Um, let's see. Okay. I do this in two stages because I have some socks that really have worn up cuffs and you can. Those gonna be combined separately. These two match. Um, so anyway, I've watched a few videos where people have talked about how there was ideas um, to give two thousand dollars recurring, which is something that Kamala Harris and Markey have pushed. The whole idea of having a monthly benefit is to help those in need, so that those people in need can get the money that they need to get things done. And that's great. But honestly, I wish Mitch McConnell had addressed the topic earlier than he did. I really wish that he had brought this to the floor in June. Why did he wait so long? Oh, basically trying to make Everybody look good when they can him look like he's the savior of humanity. Mitch, you're an asshole. You didn't actually, if you had brought this to the floor in June, we could have had the money by now. Instead, you sat on your hands and you did nothing at all. All right? You have got to be one of the sickest, most egotistical People in the sake of the human needs, people come to you and say, look, we need help. And you throw them an anvil in the process. You're not exactly what I call very beneficial. You say you're worried about fiscal conservancy. But what about all the evictions that are going to ensue, especially for those who did need help? Because after all, with the coronavirus People ended up having to invest a lot more money into personal protective equipment in addition to, and not limited to, um, making sure that they had the bills paid. $1,200 originally, the idea was that it was going to be a temporary thing, as it originally said that the country was only going to be shut down for a month. Well, it turned out it was a lot longer than a month, wasn't it? Yes, it was. A lot longer than a month. And yet, you act as if a $1,200 check was more than enough. Really? Are you that stupid? Um, $1,200 doesn't do enough for the people. Okay? It really doesn't. So, Mr. McConnell goes out there and tells everybody... Let's look at my sock. Um, oh, we, it's dead on arrival. We're not going to do anything in June. And we're certainly not going to bring, bring in the Democrats' idea to the floor in July. Instead of July, I plan to bring my own to the floor. Well, what makes, why did you wait? I think you tried to save face. That's what I think. I think you try to save face by saying things like, I know what's better for you. Yeah, you really do, huh? 
You really do? Do you really think you know better? Your constituents are going hungry, having basically exhausting all their funds. Many of them didn't even get unemployment. Remember, there's 18 million reported unemployment. How many others were not unemployed or laid off, but rather are still finding themselves with either cut down hours or even worse, being temporarily told by their employers not to come into work. That's right. A lot of people were actually finding the hours were cut, and then they also were told, well, gee, I don't need you. I guess I'm going to have to lay you off. Yeah. It's that simple. By the way, for those of you who wonder why I keep most of my socks, I keep them in a very simple pattern like these, those white ones like this. It's because it makes it easy. Because if I ever, make, ever get one sack mixed up, I can easily just, it won't normally make a bunch of a difference. But if I actually, and I know there's an odd sock because, um, yeah, there's an odd sock here. There's a few big socks that don't have uh, styles of socks in here that I have worn in the past, but they are only in here because, well, I gotta get more. I gotta get more underwear next. I have to do underwear tomorrow. Um. So yes, my friends, I have to do housework besides videos too. Okay. This one and this one, these match. No, two different style sock. Do these match? Um. Well, theoretically. They do and they don't. They do, but then they have, when, when they're this close, they have to look at the heels next. And, and these two heels do match up. Except, so I look at the cuffs and I look at the heels and yeah, that's the socks they match. All right, so I got a few odd socks here that don't seem to match, which May have been misfiled under the ones that I thought were the little messed up cuffs on these socks. So, so let's see. We got this sock here. Yeah. Okay. That looks like that matches the um, the ones with the stretch cuffs. Yeah, they do. Okay. This one matches the stretch. No, this isn't stretched. No, it's not. So we'll just go ahead and re mix them back in again. And see if we can sort the rest of these socks. So that's what I do. I gotta go ahead and sort through these. But anyway, to make a long story short, what I'm trying to say is the people need the stimulus. Okay? They need the stimulus. And and so people have been telling Mr. McConnell and others is look, we need the money. And originally, Mitch McConnell was dead set against the stimulus. Oh, but you certainly are not dead set of giving millions of dollars to big corporations, are you? Saying things like, big companies need bailouts. Look, according to your logic, yeah, he's match. All right. Um, then your idea is, is to what you call trickle down economy. You think you give big corporations money that are too big to fail, which is an actually in actually an oxymoron. Too big to fail. It's the big ones that fail first. Banks, whatever. And now, of course, the Federal Reserve does want to see a stimulus because, like I said, there's money. 
they were made in stimulus money. Those interest rates which they control are in the low. Okay, this is these talks are different. These ones are different. Um, all right, so these two stocks don't match any of these others yet. So, let's see. I know, when you drive them on the line, they get show up like this, but I can sort of still see what they're looking at here. Yeah. Um, yeah, these match. Only well, close enough that they match anyway. So, so what is he going to be? What is Mitch McConnell going to be presenting on Monday to his colleagues? I don't know. Something tells me it's going to be a cat fight in Washington. Oh yeah. Last night we played World of Warcraft and Rusty met the other cat that was sneaking in my house. He's been here a few times. And uh, Rusty chased him out of the house again. Apparently there's another stray cat in my neighborhood that's looking for a new home. The only thing is, is Rusty doesn't want him to live here. Okay. I think, I think these socks, this one looks like it matches one of these socks. Yeah, I guess you can say they match. So we have one. We have, I know we have one ad sock that doesn't match because it's so that when I put them on the line. So yeah. So there we go. My socks are nice and sorted. The oddball. I go look in my oddball orphan swap drawer, which isn't got too many in there, and find the one that matches it. Put it together with that. <laughs> So now, it's the way I do laundry, sort out the laundry at night instead of to wait until tomorrow because of obvious reasons. Because tomorrow is going to be a high of 36, maybe 37 degrees. And I'm not going to sit out here and sweat my ass off. All right? So I wanted to get as much stuff done now before tomorrow. And I'm also going to be washing my underwears tonight, too. Okay? I stayed in my bedroom most of the day. And so I didn't get a show in because, well, there was really no way in hell I was going to sit in my, in my studio and basically drip sweat all over my gear. And, um, and I would have been miserable and hot. So I figured, just like anybody else, get things done, get housework done, get chores done, clean the house. If you can't own this cooler, which is what I'm doing, housework. Um, so we'll have to see what's going to happen with the item, uh, with the stimulus proposal for Mr. McConnell on Monday, and I'll let you know more about them. But we want to talk about something else now. Yeah, something fun, sort of fun. We fi I finally got my character Bashara back in the Goldshire after Michelle and BFA totally got lost, didn't know where the hell she was going. Totally misled me all the way in Stormwind, trying to do a simple mission, and I'm then going and going to Iron Forge, Don Barrow, the Tram, basically got myself killed multiple times in a foreign land. Then basically ended up going back from Iron Forge, taking the Tram back into um, Stormwind, getting totally lost trying to fulfill a goal on that mission, as well as we meeting a quest. Not finding the quest, then basically I have another quest in Don Moreau to go back to do. And I gotta go back and finish that quest. Or you could always abandon it. Or I could always abandon it. Because right now, for a priest, um, we went out into the quarry in Don Moreau and we almost get our, I got myself killed twice. Okay, I was totally unprepared for dealing with those adversaries. I went into the cathedral in Stormwind to see if I could get training, as because I technically should be able to get training. Haven't found out that I can't get training in BFA because BFA doesn't have training like they do in World of Warcraft Classic, which Michelle usually plays. 
got so mad, he started jumping up and down with disgust. Like, ugh. I came all the way out here to see if I can get training as a priestess, and I couldn't. Now I had to go back and try to finish the other missions, get thoroughly lost in the city, totally confused, lost Michelle was reading maps backwards, trying to follow a pointer that's telling that she has to go through walls, can't even go through the walls, can't reach the other side of the city of Stormwind to, to complete the second quest. Um, it was a mess. Yeah. And... Obviously, my character rightfully deserves something stronger than this to beer. Um, after going through three hours of nothing but dead ends, and literally dead three times in a row, um, in the quarry in Don Moreau, okay? I have never been through that before. And I never saw the new Stormwind before now. And I, so I was... I was basing the map of Stormwind on the old World of Warcraft classic Stormwind, which is only partially the same. But the extensions to the Stormwind, unfortunately, made it extremely difficult for me to figure out how I was supposed to get best share of the complete request. And he also misread one, which said was originally to take talk to the guy outside of the um, Smithy. So Michelle thought it was a Smithy in Stormwind when I actually was to uh, meet me a guy outside the Smithy um, in um, Goldshire to actually take a dragon to Stormwind. We walked to Stormwind. Okay? Maybe the dragon would have been better. He still can go back and do it. Yeah, I know. We can still go and complete the first part of that quest and we'll have to do that. Um, but like I said, it was just really confusing, and I was really, really disappointed. I could not get my priestess training, even though I went to a priest trainer. Because I haven't seen identical problem in BFA. She can't get her training. That's like I've heard that they're saying is that the training automatically comes in when you level up. Well, excuse me, but... I don't feel like I'm really earning any additional skills in my skill set. Now, it looks like for my priestess, she's going to have to become a shadow priest in order to go against so many adversaries, as I found out in Duskwood, like the, the crazy Wogans, Oregon, Oregon, the insane Wogans. And I'm like, I didn't have, the only thing I had was, was shadow pain. That's the only one I had. And, and I had I had a sharpened letter opener for a weapon? What the fuck? Where did that come from? It was just... It was the only weapon you could get. Because that was the only thing at the time you had the right to use. Was a, it was a sharpened shadow um, letter opener. Couldn't, I couldn't even get a stiletto at the time. You didn't have enough money. Yeah. Well, now I do. No, you do. So... Unfortunately for Lumi, now Bashir is basically is totally dazed and confused and drunk and drunk and <laughs> I don't know how we're going to get her to the next level in the game because the idea originally was to see if we could try to find a way to bring her and Bikila together and I can't because Bikila, first of all, is um is is not blood elf and blood elf she would have to go to to the portal of silver moon into agamar and then from agamar then go through and find the portal that best brings her to stormwind and she's no more skilled than bashir is because she doesn't even have additional skills. I thought she had some more skills. She seems to be doing better in Silver Moon than she is in than Bashir is. Well, Bashir has the powers too in her home territory, right? So my priest needs to pair up with somebody else—a warrior, a mage, whatever—because um, she is not. 
I don't really want her to become a, a shadow priest. Priestess. But right now, we're playing PvE, and we, if I can't get her to even go up against the creatures in the forest and not die, forget PvP. Right. That's true. So we have to work on that. But the rest of this week is going to be sizzling hot, and... So I don't know how much World of Warcraft we'll be playing because it's going to be too hot to play World of Warcraft inside. Or if they're not live streaming. Exactly. So we'll have to see what happens with that. Well, guys, I have to go put these in the drawer. And then I got to go set the washing machine up, wash all my underwears, get them done, hang them up. And because it's been hot and humid in the day to do anything. And what are you going to make the frozen za? I'll probably make it tomorrow morning, um, which means Monday morning. I'll make the frozen za after the heat of the day has decreased. Because it's too late. It's too, it, if, it's, if I make it tomorrow night at 7 o'clock, it's going to be like high at 29. Then turn the oven on, it's going to make it even hotter. Right. So, most important thing is, guys, we want you and then you and others to know that Michelle is doing a lot more than just sitting on her ass doing YouTube videos. And when you get hot weather like this, we have to basically work inside or outside, do uh, as little as possible to avoid any <coughs> excuse me, heat stroke. Um, Anything else? No, that's it. Um, uh, just keep just keep an eye on. We'll see what we can do for Monday. We'll keep you pressed, uh, uh, posted on when Mitch McConnell's plan is and how the Democrats are going to feel about it. So we'll be talking about the stimulus package and the stimulus checks. Because right now, as it is, there is going to be at least one check. Um, I got a feeling there may be more than one. And Michelle has plans with the money. Yeah, I want to get a new mattress. Definitely. I don't need a new box spring as much. I need a new mattress. So, yeah, I need to get a new mattress. Um, also, Michelle wants to get her uh, her old turntable fixed up, working at a break with a proper new head shell and a cartridge. Absolutely. All right, guys. That's all there is. I just wanted to say thank you for watching this long vlog Bcast, whatever you want to call it. And uh, we'll see you officially on Monday for the report on what's going on with the stimulus with Chuck Schumer and how he's going to feel about Mitch McConnell and the Democrats' views on what they want to see done in the House. So, and don't forget, we'll try to see if we can get a live show in for Monday night. We'll try. We'll try. All right, guys, that's it for now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, guys.